Hi, welcome back to CSEC English Made Easy. Today we are looking at the written report for the CSEC English A and B S B A. I must first apologize if I sound a bit nasal, I have a cough, I am working on it. Nevertheless, let us begin. Now, in looking at the written report, we have to be reminded that the written report is the group component of the SVA. So this is going to be completed as a group. It therefore means that as a group, you need to meet and you are going to come to the table with all of your pieces. So if there are five members of your group, each of you should have uh, three stimuli and your three stimuli combined will make 15. So out of the total group stimuli, you will select three to write your written report. So bear that in mind. If there are four members of the group, total group stimuli will be what? What, what, what? 12. And so you select from um, the 12. Now, now you know. Remember when we were talking about SBA stimuli? and looking for it and what you needed to do. And I made mention and I said, it is important that every member of the group um, that you each have different pieces and your themes, sorry, individual topics are different because when it comes time to write the, the written report, you don't want to have any overlap. All right. so. When you have met as a group, you would have selected your three pieces as a group and this, the selection will be based on your group theme, not your individual topic. So based on your group theme, you're going to select your three pieces that you think best encapsulates your group theme, your choice. You decide why. Why is it these three pieces? Why is it you would have selected these three pieces? I love to give my students some guided questions that they can take into consideration when they're meeting as a group. So as a group, you're going to look at how did you get the SVA work done? Because you're going, you're being marked as marked for how well you worked as a group, right? How did you get the work done? How did you collect the data? Did any member of the group assisted each other? Um, were you happy with your pieces? Did you like working as a group? Were there challenges? How did you overcome your challenges? Um, what did you learn as a group individually? What did you learn about about your group theme did what was the impact of completing the activity um how do your pieces that you would have selected as a group how do they frame your understanding of your topic right um did you meet as a group um do you think you work so all of that you take into consideration right it must be noted that this report should be written as a group. So it's not one member of the group going one side and writing something and then everybody else say, oh yeah, that sounds good. No, this is important because this is marked out of 10. So when you think of all the other pieces that you would, all the other components of the portfolio that you would have done, 10 out of 45 marks is a lot. And if we think of it this way, you can also think that your written report is a reflection of how well you, you worked as a group, right? And based on your written report, it can be taken into consideration when 
allocating your group work grade because it's a reflection so if you get a 5 out of 10 for your written report right when the teacher goes to assess you as to how well you worked as a group is it possible for you to get 9 out of 10 when your written report is 5 out of 10 would that be realistic a realistic assessment of how well you worked as a group so you have to take these things into consideration all right all right this is uh, i don't know why this is always doing this all right now looking at the sample of a written report that's here i have to say samples that are included in the presentation they're they're here to give you an idea they're not the standard um i just to give you an idea of what a written report might look like but your written report does not have to look like this what i suggest that you have to remember that whatever you're writing you write in continuous prose so you have your sentences you have your paragraphs right um you would have seen that this group started by making mention of making mention of um the issue their group theme so their group theme is skin bleaching and they would have started making mention of the group theme and how they went about finding their pieces and how the selection of the three pieces that they're covering was done and they would have made mention of the three pieces that are covered that are selected for the report and then they would have commented on the impact of the three pieces on their thinking about their group theme and they would have finished the assignment with looking at not the assignment you know what i mean finish the report by commenting on how well they worked as a group any challenges they faced or how they overcame these challenges now if we're looking at the report i'll come back to this let me oh lord i want to jump to here this is what i want to jump to in looking at the report and we look at what the rubric this is taken from the cxc syllabus we're looking at the rubric that is assigned right and you're being marked for content report of content evidence of investigation inquiry research you're being marked for language use and vocabulary right so this is like grammar and organization and this is marked out of three so we're not going to i'm not going to zone in on category three of the rubric I am looking at content evidence of investigation. Now, content is marked out of four. And notice it is requiring you to context <coughs> explicit, yes, oh God, explicitly stated. So, how well you worked as a group, how well the, t the task was done, right? um what were the tasks for the different members of the group um how well was the issue clearly defined and explored and this is where your three pieces come into play then you're being marked on excellent summary analysis of the text meaning the pieces that you would have identified um they're looking also for significance of research was is there evidence of research so these are the things that they're looking for if we go back to our sample here you would have noted that in order to meet the criteria based on the rubric the members of this group would have attempted to comment on how how they the interest in the topic how they did the research right they would have attempted to comment on um, issues that they might have had how they overcame it 
talked about the selection of the three pieces, talk about the impact of the three pieces on their understanding what they would have learned. And then, <coughs> sorry, once again, comment on the challenges that they would have faced. Now, things to consider when writing the group report. Um, remember that you are selecting three stimuli from the total number of pieces. Now, this is why. Remember when we spoke about creating SBA groups? We spoke about groups being groups of four or five. Um, this is important because over the period, um, there might be movement in members of your group so i've had situations where persons are no longer attending the school or persons might have opted to sit the exam in grade 10 and so there is movement and persons are now having to Look at the members of the group that are remaining and ensuring that all the pieces are accounted for. So that is very important. So that is why I would recommend if you're starting out in grade 10, you try as much as possible to have a group of five. That if there is movement and you have a member of your group leaving, you still have four members of your group and so that you can continue and you will be able to write the written report. I've known of students who based on movements, um, they might have had maybe one person, um, one person out of a group of five, four, and they have to start over. So bear that thing to take into consideration. All right, so this is another problem. Remember, it is one group report, one written report. All members of the group must have the same written report in their portfolio. So it does not matter how many versions of the report that you might have. You need to still have, wow, well, what did I do? You need to still have the what was I saying? You need to still have the same written report in all of the portfolios of each of the members. So I tend to say to my students, you have, you submit one report. I mark the one report return to you with my comments and my feedback. And then you copy that one report and you place it into all of your documents so that every portfolio, every member of the group in their portfolio, they have identical written report, identical feedback. Very important. All right. So another thing to consider is all members of the group should have copies of the same pieces used. What do I mean? Your three stimuli that you use, whether it be print, audio, video, etc. One must be print. I did not say that, did I? How, how horrible of me. When you are selecting your three pieces from your total group pieces, one must be print. Right? It doesn't mean that you cannot have more than one print. It means that at least one of the three pieces must be a print. So you can have one print and two videos, one print, two audios. You can have one print, one video, one audio, or you can have three prints. That is up to you as a group to decide, but at least one must be print. Whatever you decide, copies of the pieces that are selected must be in each member group member's portfolio. So if you're using three prints, right? Along with your three individual pieces, you need to have your three group pieces in your portfolio as well. 
um i spoke about this earlier if you're using a video you you include a transcript of the video in your portfolio if there's no transcript you can create a transcript um what else what else <coughs> 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 